the second half of your post you were saying is um yeah thanks thanks glory cannon appreciate you stopping in and, and, and giving me a follow um <laughs> we live in a world where i can make breakfast and attend a nementa research meeting yep some people have it on all day long it's crazy um i try and stream two three times a week um and a lot of times it's just i'm just streaming whatever i happen to be working on i'm pretty much always open to discussion okay falco wanted to talk about the second point of your post which which second point if you is it this post the other point i wonder is about the brain transfer conundrum so i said when you upload your brain to an android body and you wake up first of all it won't be you and the way you would get this transfer to work is by making a really detailed associative map of the knowledge between two sensors yeah and that's just theoretically theoretically if you if you create if you if you knew the content if you had a prior knowledge essentially of your sensor set um, maybe you could map to it. Um, you think the upload scenario is long overdue. Uh, imagine we can build a single neuron and close silicon chip forms the same function. Well, I'm not arguing about it being impossible um, to take the state of any agent and um, freeze it and perhaps be able to inspect it and get every single value associated with that agent's model, let's say. That's not the part that um, bothers me. Uh, when we implant this electrical neuron instead of the real one, would that still be you? Um, if the one neuron represents one bit in a sparse memory, would the... Are you saying just doing one neuron? Is that your point? Single neuron. C is I, mean, oh, there you are. I mean, starting with one. Oh. If, you, if you start with one, just one neuron out of the 80 billion neurons that you have, you just replace one with an electronical... Uh, um, Oh, oh, you're trying to do the uh, to the transfer problem without losing identity. Well, without without doing a merge, without doing a copy, just just doing a replacement. But how would um, would this one neuron be connected to a different sensor set, a different body? It's 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 not really related to the to the the sensor set. It's everybody talks about upload, upload your mind. I think that's absurd. I don't. I don't think that's that's even interesting. I think what we have to do is is copy, no, not copy, uh, merge with a part of our biological um, neurons with um, silicium um, copies, that, and then yeah. have a, have a part in biology in your real brain, and then have a part in a computer. So I think that's possible. That doesn't go against anything that I think. When I was put, uh, putting ideas in this in this thread, especially thanks for the follow, Veronica. Uh, especially if you're if you're talking about adding neurons just to expand the computing power that you have in your brain, um, that should certainly work. But the problem, the thing that I'm arguing about with people, that I'm trying to get the point across is that you you can't detach uh, an agent, a model with agency from the sensor set it learned its environment in and attach it to another sensor set. That's that's my point. That because that sensor set is a part of that model's identity. Yeah, I'm 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 still not agreeing with you. I I I, I open I, I'm open minded, but I, I'm I still don't understand it really. And I think I'll have to read more about it. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep discussing that sooner or later. I'm, I'm gonna give you one more point. I always have to use like an object when I think about this. It's like I, I sort of I hinted about this earlier. Everything that I know about these these nail clippers is mm -hmm. is learned within the context of my senses. There is no definition of this thing in my mind that didn't originate from sensory input. And that sensory input is defined by my sensors and how they connect to my brain. If you took my model, my brain and attached it to something else, everything I know about this would no longer be applicable to the new sensor set. It wouldn't make sense at all. That's, that's my point. You, you can't just take an agent, detach it from its body and attach it to another body. You lose everything when you do that. That's my okay, point. But, but how is that different with your thumb? The thumb you use to, to, to touch that nail clipper. My tongue? You have, 
the, the your index finger or your your hand yeah it has also a representation and it's also um an object well an object yeah, well, it's, it's yeah really... okay let me let me break in i, I see what you're getting to like you're talking about touching it here or touching it with that or touching it with that right but but no, i I'm, no i'm i'm if you if you touch your thumb and your index finger mm -hmm. and your thumb your thumb is touching something and so your brain has to make a representation Brains. of your index finger as if it was an object oh yeah and vice versa yeah absolutely you re you represent your 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 hands as a, as an object you have a reference frame for your hand as and it's a special object it's one that you control you know it's of self course, it's yeah. part of your definition of self yeah well, yes, but your entire body could be seen as a, a very complex, very special object. Yeah, I think and, so. And so. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> and so if you if you somehow receive another arm, you become Cal, you receive four arms or six arms, then those are oh, that's that's different, though, because you're not taking the agent and separating it from its entire sensor set. You're just taking a part of it away and replacing it. In that case, you still have this arm that you can go and you you have all everything you've learned with this arm is still relevant and you can teach your new arm right because you've already got all of this knowledge that you can transfer to the new arm and the rest of your brain because it's still using the part of your sensor set that still is interacting with the same reality essentially you're going to be teaching your new arm about reality that you already know about that you've already learned about with your sensors i'm talking exactly. about completely severing the model from its body and you put it into a new body and it, everything it's learned is useless because it has nowhere to, to there's, there's no course, there's no path to relate its model of reality to its new sensor set and the information it's getting there. If you could do okay. it piecemeal, a little bit at a time, you, I think you could probably do it. Exactly, that's my point. Okay. So you, you chop off your arm, you replace it with a tentacle, you, you chop off your leg, you replace it with another tentacle, and you do that with every piece in your body, and yeah, you end up with yeah. eight, eight tentacles. Eventually, but, yeah, you could learn to replace your body with a different body, I think, but you can't do it all at the same time. Is that, so you agree with me there? I think, we agree, I think we're agreeing. <laughs> I still don't. Well, <laughs> because when you, when you have only one tentacle, so you have everything left, but your right arm is gone and you have one tentacle. The tentacle would have to re relearn some space, but the model you have about space will seem um, familiar. You will come in a room and you will touch it with a, a strange uh, limp now. You have this tentacle, you will just touch it and say, what is this? Oh, this must be the room I've been in because I know this room. Yeah. It, it feels different yeah. because I have another sensor now, but the model that I have, I still have. And I, it's, it's like um, putting another frame on but, it that once you- But the only way you can access that model is by using the other part of your sensors that were not replaced. That's, the, that's how you can access the model and associate the new sensory input because here's what's happening with your tentacle arm or whatever, you say, mm -hmm. I'm going to touch this thing. And your hand is going to know if I touched it, you know, your brain knows this. If I touched it with this hand, I know what it would feel like. I'm going to touch it with my new sensor and I can make an association there to say, well, when I feel this, I can associate that with an object that I've already touched with this sensor. If you were completely blind and, and you're just you know, you had no reference for this tentacle arm and it just flopped around and, and interacted with reality and you could never observe what it was touching, that would be a completely new model of reality it would build up. The only way you can transfer your knowledge of reality is to a new sensor like that is through the sensors that you've already used to build that model. Yeah, I'm, I'm not completely convinced. Uh because you have these grid cells and these displacement cells so you you feel a feature you don't know what this feature is you don't know it, but you know that it's at a certain distance from something else and you know there must be a handle on this cup but the only reason you know that is because you've touched it with some other sensor that you've already experienced reality with yeah like That's if you didn't have that at all and, and you just, even if you had all that model in your head, you had the whole world and how you interacted with it with a human body. If you just replaced your whole human body with an octopus body, 
um, all of that's useless because you have no way to link that, to associate all of that knowledge with the new reality that's coming in through your sensors. There's no way to associate this. It, it seems like a completely new reality. It's the same reality, but your orient, the way that you're interacting with it is completely different. So how do you but relate you that to what you know and knew in the past with your old sensors? Through imagination, through through your 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 mind's eye, your model. That's really your mind's eye. You you well, you know where the cup is supposed to be, and but how do you know it's, it's a like cup, it. right? How do you know what it is? Your your initial touch of that thing, you'd have no context of it at all. You wouldn't know it's a cup, and the way you, way it felt wouldn't feel similar to anything you've ever felt in the world, because it's a completely different sensor set. You're exploring from scratch. It's like you're just yes. reborn. But you're exploring features that are relative to each other. But you have to relearn <laughs> space with that sensor set. So all of the rel relations between space are gone. That's what you learned with your old sensor set. You have to relearn space. Your grid cells are going to have to remap. Like that's that's the long and short of it. Okay. Okay. At least that's that's what I believe. And now we yeah. could we could start being mad scientists. And, and see if anyone wants to volunteer for experiments. Take your arm <laughs> and put an octopus tentacle on it. If anybody wants to volunteer, <laughs> raise your hand. <laughs> raise your tentacle. Raise your tentacle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Uh, we, will, we will certainly uh, continue. Thank you very much. No, no problem. Thanks for the discussion. Okay, I'm going to take a, a break, you guys, and I'm going to come back and we're gonna build HTM systems. So, you guys wanna see the window cam? <laughs> Here we go. Uh, let me change this too. Building HTM systems. That's what we're gonna do next. And I will just put, yeah, starting soon. And I will be right back. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for the compliments. I appreciate you all being here. Um, I will uh, put, I'll put some music on in the background here. A little bit of chill. There you go. I will be back in a few minutes. <laughs>